Today I'm going to be going over an unboxing video for an M-Series sled. These are some of the items that you'll receive with your sled and I'll be going over each individual item to explain to you what they're used for. First is the optional Pelican Storm Case. This is an IM2950. This case is pre-cut to be able to fit your sled with the bolt. The monitor is removed and adjusted at a 90 degree angle to be placed face down inside your case. In the upper right hand corner of your case you'll find a brake or also known as a monitor bracket adapter. This is used on the second section of your post to get your monitor lower on your sled. Depending on what post size you've got, you'll get an adapter for the 1.58 inch post or a 1.75 inch post. Next is your padded docking bracket. When you take it out of the bag, you'll notice that the balancing pins are not installed on the docking bracket yet. This one's already got the three quarter inch because of what my current demo unit uses. The other posts that come with your kit are the half inch and the five eight inch. Once you decide which post sizes you're gonna end up using, you'd use these two screws with a little bit of Loctite, which is included in your kit, and screw these in. This post right here is to hang your arm on. You'd install it on this side or on this side of the docking bracket. Now, once you decide where you wanna hang your arm, I recommend putting a little bit of Loctite on here as well and then screwing it in. Here's some great functions of the docking bracket as well. If you loosen up this knob, it'll activate a tilt function on the padded docking bracket. Then you tighten it back down and it locks it down. This blue latch right here is to keep this latch from opening and closing. So right now if I close it, lock it, now it keeps the latch from opening up. We have one balancing spud here closer to the center gravity of the stand. Your other balancing stud is on the end, which can also extend in case you have a very long base for your sled. First, I'll show you the Volt interconnect cable. This cable is an eight pin to eight pin. One end is straight and the other end at the right angle. The right angle goes into the top stage and then the straight goes into the bolt. Next are your yoke end caps. These are used if you were to remove the bolt from your gimbal. You would place these caps on your yoke to protect your yoke bearings from being exposed to any debris. And this is your gimbal tool or also known as the blue whale tool. You use these pins as a way to tighten or loosen parts of your gimbal and volt. Uh, we have some more videos online on how to use this tool. Next is your 7mm socket tool. This is used for your side to side and fore and aft on your top stage. If you remove these caps, you will be able to see a nut underneath it that you could use this tool to tighten up. This is if you notice some slipping while you're balancing or operating in your top stage. Now, I do recommend reaching out to our Steadicam service department before trying to use this tool because you can tighten it too much and end up actually damaging the mechanism inside of the top stage. Right. Next, what I have in front of me are the gimbal brake adapters. This sled is a 1.58 inch post, so the 1.58 inch adapters are already installed inside of the gimbal. So what I have left in front of me are the 1.5 and the 1.75 inch adapters. What this allows you to do is if you had multiple post sizes, you'd be able to keep using this gimbal by just swapping out the adapters and using a different post size. This is what makes the M2 gimbal the most versatile gimbal out there. The M series gimbal comes with a permanent three quarter inch hole in the handle. Now, of course, we include these handle bushings. You have a half inch and a five eight inch. So if your arm already doesn't have three quarter inch, you could install the five eights to make your gimbal handle a permanent five eights receiver. The half inch is for people who are upgrading from an archer sled and want to be able to keep using their G50 arm with the AM series sled. You would utilize these two silver screws right here to install the adapter into the gimbal. Here I have the top stage cartridge covers. If you were to remove the Volt cartridges off of the top stage, you would replace it with these covers to keep the top stage from being exposed. And underneath that, I have the Volt encoder cable cover. This is used if you were to remove the Volt encoder cable sensor from your gimbal, you'd replace it with this cover to just protect the inner workings of your gimbal. Last are these two small set screws which were removed to be able to install the Volt pulley holder. If you were to remove the Volt pulley holder, then you would replace these two small set screws inside of your gimbal. And that concludes the unboxing for the M-Series sled. If you have any further questions, please reach out to our Steadicam sales department. If you want to tackle any sort of repairs, please refer to the manual or reach out to our Steadicam service department for any further questions.